Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be my top three in every category lip edition. So I have done face, then I did eyes, and then I wanted to make my own lip category and I feel like I came up with quite a few. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I start my videos with an outfit of the day. I'm pretty casual today. I actually just got back from a little trip. I have my slippers on, some shorts from high school. But look how cute this shirt is. It's a drawing of my dog, my Vishla Aries, and I call her Queen. So there's a little crown on here. So cute. I'm actually kind of sitting a little bit farther away from my camera because Aries is laying right in front of me. <laughs> I was like, can I move my chair a little closer? She was like, no. This is where I'm napping and she's snoring so you might be able to hear her. Uh, but I actually took my dog for a little dogcation overnight in the mountains. I live in Las Vegas but 45 minutes away is Mount Charleston. Up on a mountain it is a heck of a lot cooler. It's like 116 in Vegas. I think the highest I got there was 83. I was wearing a sweatshirt at night. Uh, but I just wanted to take my dog for a little get away, get out of the hot weather, let her run and play and have fun. Uh, she is battling cancer right now, so just, you know, trying to make as many good memories as I can. And I had a subscriber send in this shirt, which I just thought was so perfect um, to wear today. But she is definitely very exhausted. Like I said, she's laying right in front of me and just snoring away. So love that, love that. But uh, to get into today's video, uh, I was inspired by Kelly Gooch to do a top three in face and then also eyes. And when Kelly did her eyes video, she also did, she did eyes and lips. And I was like, great, I could do that too. I was like, or <laughs> I love lip products. They are definitely, they're my favorite. Uh, they're my probably like my favorite thing to talk about, my favorite thing to try. I do a lot of lip videos, especially a lot of lip combo, lip duo videos. What lip liner am I wearing with what lipstick? What lipstick am I wearing with which lip gloss? That sort of thing. So I was like, I'm gonna make a whole video on lips and just see how many categories I can get. So for today's video, we have lip liner, lip masks, lip balms, liquid lipsticks, satin lipsticks, matte lipsticks, lip oils, and lip glosses. And I won't lie, I feel like some of them maybe aren't like the best suited for their category but basically i just wanted to bring you a roundup of all of my favorite lip products and i did my best to insert them in these different categories <laughs> so that is what we are covering today i will link everything in my description box of course i just did my makeup real quick um because again i've just been you know gone hanging out with her in the mountains uh but let's jump into it and we are gonna start with lip liner. Lip liner is always such a funny thing for me to talk about because just a few years ago, I did not wear lip liner at all. I didn't understand it. There's a video of me saying like, I don't get the point of lip liner. I never wear this, why bother? And now it is, sometimes I truly just wear lip liner. I line my lips, I fill them in a little bit and I'm like, that's good, good to go. A lot of times I'll put a gloss or a lipstick over it, but you will very rarely catch me wearing a lipstick, a gloss, a balm, even an oil without having lip liner on. I just feel like it helps to define the lips. It helps to give the lips a little bit of shape. You can, you know, line your lips in a way to make them look larger. Uh, and I love lip liner and a lot of times it doubles as a lipstick for me. So it's like, it's great. So my three favorite lip liners, a little bit of a newer one would be from Rare Beauty. I really like these. These are the Kind Words Matte Lip Liner. So in the other, like when I was doing my eye products, I was trying to be very specific on like this eyeshadow and not like just this brand for eyeshadows, like this particular palette, this particular single shadow. I tried to do the same with lip products, but I feel like lip products differs a little bit from eye products because it's easier for me to wear a different lipstick and a favorite lipstick every single day versus I feel like eyeshadow palettes are a little bit harder to go through. So again, I'm going to give my favorite shades in here and swatch them, but I'm also talking about my favorite brands for these just in general too. So I want to point that out. So from Rare Beauty, I really love these matte lip liners. You can easily twist them up or down. The shade that I wear probably the most, I would say, is going to be Worthy. And this is just a really nice, like, neutral pink. It's not too light. It's not super dark. Um, I tend to pair it with a lipstick that you will see coming up as well. 
Again, it's more of a matte lipstick. It's very creamy though. Just glides right over the lips. It makes for a really nice lipstick also. So you can get a little bit of two-in-one, like fill in, define your like uh, line, define your lips, fill them in, you're good to go. So I wear those from Rare Beauty so often. I also really love Natasha Denona lip liners. Now, I my particular favorite is My Dream, and you can tell that this has been sharpened quite a bit. Okay, we need to sharpen this one. We sharpen this one again. Um, <laughs> that's really funny, but I love the My Dream. This one is more of like a very neutral pink. The way that I describe My Dream is my lips but better. That's like, that's always how I say it with this one. I feel like when I line my lips, it truly just looks like my lips just like a little bit better. It doesn't give them a ton of color. Like it's not a really dark lip liner. It's also not a really light lip liner. It just matches my particular lips like so well. Again, it's a very creamy formula. Um, this one is more satin than the Rare Beauty, which is more matte, but I wear this lip liner over and over and over, especially with the gloss that you will see coming. My favorite lip liners though number one in the lip liner category you shouldn't be surprised charlotte tilbury her lip cheat lip liners have been my favorite for so many years i also live in an apartment i think someone has moved above me which is very sad because no one's been above me for like nine months and i think they're like hanging stuff ever since i've gotten home from our trip i just hear like bang, 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 which is great i love that i'm super excited to have an upstairs neighbor again but the Charlotte Tilbury lip cheats, I tell the story of how I wandered into a Sephora one day. I did some swatching of the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. I was like $24. At the time it was $24. I was like, seems too expensive to me for a lip liner. I went home, I tried to wash my hands and the lip liner wouldn't move. The swatch would not come off of my hand. And I was like, maybe I should reconsider. And I went back, I bought um, Iconic Nude, which is one of my favorite shades as well and it is very very tiny um, but i've also gone on to buy love trap it's what i'm wearing today and as of right now i feel like i'm wearing love trap a little bit more than iconic nude honestly i think it's because i know my iconic nude is about to be done and i have this weird mentality of when i'm almost out of something i stop using it because i want to only use it at the most perfect times i'm the same way with like ice cream i'll have like you know two scoops of ice cream left and i'll be like but i need i need to save it for when i absolutely need those two scoops of ice cream i'll have it. i can't just waste it you know so i can't just be like putting on iconic nude for anything like it has to be for special things i don't know why i'm this way it's part of my hoarding mentality but love trap is a little bit of this um, darker nude lip liner and I think that it is so beautiful again it's what I'm wearing today with a gloss that will be mentioned I always link all of my makeup in my description box as well but the Charlotte Tilbury lip liners are just elite to me I think Natasha is like right there behind them but Charlotte Tilbury the the lasting power of these lip cheat lip liners is just insanity again these are so good to line your lips but then also fill them in they're not going to go anywhere. There's a great shade range. Um, again, my favorites are going to be Love Trap and Iconic Nude, but a lot of options for you. Number one. All right, let's move over to lip masks. This is where you're going to start to see like lip liners, like three for three. Those were all lip liners. This is where you're going to start to see me just trying to put my favorite products into this video. So I'm going to start off with a newer one, but I really like this. I, this is considered more of an oil, but I wanted to put it in the lip mask category because to me, my lip masks i reach for them as overnight treatments so when i do my skincare routine and i take off my makeup my last step is always doing my lip mask and i wear it overnight i feel like it helps keep my lips hydrated and smooth i especially after i moved to las vegas i started to really struggle with dry everything my hair was becoming drier my skin was going from oily to dry but also my lips were getting really dry and really you know cracked and it was just not a good time. My lips were bleeding all of the time. And even though I loved lip masks before this and I would dabble in them, I know Aries, you too. Her nose is always so dry. I would dabble in them in Iowa. I wasn't so intent on like, I have to make sure I wear my lip mask every night. My lip masks go everywhere with me. I make sure to wear them every night. Again, any trip that I take, I always have lip masks with me. So even though this is considered an oil, I use it as a night treatment. So I'm putting it under masks. 
and this is from City Beauty, and this is their City Lips Night Oil. I don't know if you'll be able to tell because I've been kind of like whipping it around, but I'm almost out of mine, and I'm very sad because it keeps selling out, <laughs> and I'm like, no. Like when it first launched, it sold out, I'm pretty sure it was in within like the first like three days, it sold out and I was like, ah, come back. And I messaged the brand because I am an affiliate with them. And I was like, when are you bringing back the lip oil? Because I'd been hyping it up and hyping it up and like, it's going on sale this day. And then it sold out and I was like, no. I brought it back. I think it sold out again. I think it might be back, but I know we just had uh, National Lip Day. And so I know that they were running a sale. If it's still going on, I'll have the details in my description box. If not, my affiliate code with them is Samantha M, and that will get you a discount. But I highly, highly recommend the City Lips Night Oil. It is, it's one thing that I like about City Beauty is a lot of their products also have like other ingredients in them. So this lip oil is not just a lip oil, it has more skincare nourishing ingredients in it. Same with like their mascaras, their skincare products, um, their regular lip products. And that's what I like about it because it feels so hydrating when you put it on, yet it also feels like like nourishing at the same time is how I would describe it. And once I started using this, because when I started to test it out before it was released so I could give my review when it was launching, my lips felt so smooth and so soft. I wasn't having any issues because there are times when I stop using some of my, my other two favorites that I'm going to mention right here and I try a different lip mask, I can tell my lips will go back to being cracked and just really dry and flaky. Like I, I do that thing where I literally like bite like the dry skin off my lips and then it's bleeding everywhere and I'm like, great. So I, I will know immediately if a lip product is good or not. And this one I think is so nice. So right now that is what I'm using the most because I would like to use it up because I think that I'm going to. So I'm trying to put a little bit more emphasis on like using products up. I just did a video on products I hit pan in. I was thinking about doing like a second half of the year project pan. And I feel like it could be like a project use up, honestly. I could put iconic nude in there. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting an idea. I feel like I should do like project use up. Not just like I want to hit pan in this, but like I'm going to try to use up these products that otherwise I hoard because I save them for that little last bit. This is an idea. Um, but some other ones that I love for years and years, it has been Laneige, the, the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I know so many people love this. So many people talk about it. This has been my most like consistent lip mask for at what, four years maybe, I wanna say, that I've been using this one. I've gone through so many of these. This is the one that I have now, and this one is in peach iced tea. I don't know, man, they come out with these like new flavors and scents and everything, and I just run to buy them. They have a new one now that has like the stripes, like swirl design. Listen, if I didn't have half in here, I would have already have bought that one, but like I'm trying to be better at not just buying to buy and buying things that I don't need. I'm like, you still have a lot of that one. But that was my, that, the Laneige was my favorite lip mask for years until it got knocked off. Maybe you know who it's by, Sigma Beauty. I have gone through so many of these lip masks. I actually just put another one into my empties. I think my last empties, I had three of the Sigma lip masks in there. So I had to go in to my collection and bust out a new one because I was like, no, I like, even though like I said, I'm trying to use up the City Beauty, but still the Sigma lip masks are just, they're elite. They are my favorite right now. I can't get enough of them. Again, they have nice skincare ingredients in them too. Um, so like right on here, it's their Hydro Melt lip mask. They have hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, jojoba oil, and also shea butter, just divine. These make my lips feel so good and it's one of those where like I like to wear it in the daytime as well Like if I'm just feeling like I need a little extra like if I've been trying a lip mask and my lips have reverted back to being super dry I'm like, where's my Sigma? Let me just put this on really quick Sigma has to take the top spot for lip masks. Then we're gonna move over to lip balms a little again, a little bit newer and these are considered tinted lip balms So I was like, that's fine. I'm putting it in here. These are from Lawless Beauty I really really like their tinted lip balms Lawless has a lot of really nice lip products. You're gonna see some more in here I actually just got a big PR package from Lawless with more lip products, which I'm really excited to test out I do like their lip sleeping mask as well. I wouldn't put it in my top three though 
because I, I didn't but I still I do like that one like they got it going on with their lip products but their tinted lip balms are so pretty the one that I've been reaching for the most right now is in posy which is just this really nice pink I've been doing it because I've been doing a lot of pink makeup I've had a lot of like Barbie events to go to so this has been a perfect lip balm I really like these because they're lightweight you can see they're not like super opaque or anything like that they're very easy to apply reapply it gives you a little hint of color they have a few shades as well that are more on the clear side also if that's what you would prefer but they're just comfortable they feel good they make your lips look like nice and juicy without being like in my opinion they're not i don't really like like a super duper shiny lip or anything that's like really slippery or anything like that but these from lawless they're so comfortable really enjoy those so next up i don't have this one and i'm very sad because for some reason i thought i had an extra one i was like so for sure that i did but this makes me want to go buy one and it is the glossier balm.com these again i have been wearing the balm.com for years there's like a particular summer that sticks out to me that i had all of my girlfriends buying them this would have been in like probably 2019 if not even like 2018 i was having everyone because i was like here just use it just try it just try it just try it and then everyone was going and buying their own i was so for sure that i had one and now i'm really upset that i don't and now i want it back so badly that i'm i now they're at, at sephora so i'm just gonna throw this in my cart the next time i'm at sephora because i love them so much so the glossier balm.com it has such a nice smell like more of like your coconut type smell at least i think they have different scents and flavors now but like the original one so good it is like it's like okay i love the cerave healing ointment as well um again my dog has like a really dry nose like i use it on her nose and any dry patches um as was recommended by the vet i didn't know i could use that on dogs but i use it on myself for like my elbow my knees are looking like really dry as well i'll use it on dry patches and it's this the the cerave is like a really thick ointment the glossier is not that thick but i feel like i get the same kind of effect of like ugh, when i put it on like it is like healing me and it's just such like a luxurious lip balm and it's again it's just it's been a favorite of mine for so long i have to repurchase that i thought i even knew exactly where i thought that it was and i went directly there and what was there was the kopari lip glossy which i like but it's not that's not what it is I, I thought for sure that was my glossier i'm so upset i'm gonna have to buy it immediately the next one is this a lip balm mm, i kind of describe it as like i feel like it's kind of like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip gloss but i do feel like it is a little bit more balm like so i just wanted to share about it it's from ysl and these are their candy glaze lipsticks lip yeah it just says candy glaze on here that's fine in the shade o2 so right like it looks it looks balmy now this is a pretty clear shade so i mean the swatch i don't know if it's gonna like do much for you but this is one that i love to pair with like the my dream lip liner iconic nude lip liner again the rare beauty worthy lip liner and then you just add a little bit of this on top and it to me it is a little bit more balm like because it's kind of that in between between the lipstick and the lip gloss like and to me it looks more of a lipstick in the packaging but it has more of that gloss but it's not like super glossy because it still has a little bit of like a thicker consistency too which makes me feel like it's a balm all of that to say that this is beautiful i've been talking about the candy glazes for a hot minute o2 is definitely my favorite shade it's ysl it's going to be more expensive but like look at this luxurious packaging and it just makes the lips look so beautiful and like juicy and plump and it's just like stunning like it makes me feel extra when i wear it you know those sometimes those makeup products where you're like i just need maybe an extra boost of confidence or i'm trying to go for a little bit more glam or something and you reach for those like special products like to me that's the ysl but i wear it on a more regular basis and i do some of my special lip products because it's gorgeous for everyday wear too okay aries has moved so i was scooting my chair a little bit closer <laughs> i was like i felt like i was so far away from the camera and i'm not a good youtuber i don't have like a microphone or like anything a cool lens i use like a very basic camera and i was like oh my gosh this video is gonna be a mess but um you know it's it is like i wasn't gonna move my dog okay she can go wherever she wants to go 
Uh, but next up, let's talk about liquid lipsticks. Now, liquid lipsticks is not something that I wear super often myself, but I know people still enjoy wearing liquid lipsticks. So like in my face video, I touched on highlighters, even though I don't wear them on my face as much. And in the eye category, I touched on false lashes, even though I don't wear them very often. So I thought I would still include some liquid lip recommendations. I actually only have one liquid lipstick in my entire lip collection. When I did my lip collection declutter video at the end of last year, beginning of this year, I decluttered the rest of my liquid lipsticks because again, I just don't wear them right now. I might at another point decide that I really love them again and build up my liquid lip collection. Same with highlighters. But right now I just have the one and I just don't reach for them all that often. But there was definitely a time where all I was wearing was liquid lipsticks. And if you were asking me for a lip recommendation, I was giving you a liquid lip recommendation. So I know, again, I know some people still really enjoy them, especially because they have that very all day um, wear time to them for sure. For me, I just tend to personally go for lip liner and glosses are the most what I do or a balm. Um, I still do love, you know, some of my lipsticks, but I just tend to lean towards gloss, which is funny because during the time that I loved liquid lipsticks, I also hated lip glosses. And like, I think at the time I loved, I didn't love lip liners. I did not like gloss at all. You would never hear me talk about a gloss, recommend a gloss, wear a gloss. So, you know, makeup preferences are always changing and it's all good not that serious but, um you know definitely one of my favorites that i still have in my collection is one that i did in collaboration with over cosmetics this is their long lasting liquid lipstick and the shade that i created is in story so obviously i still keep around my collaborations but story was this beautiful kind of deeper mauve it's still available now i am an affiliate with ofra my code is samantha and i just love this shade so much i named it story because i'm also an author currently writing my 10th novel, which is very exciting. Uh, and so I knew that I wanted to name my lip shade Story. And the Ofra liquid lipsticks were ones that I loved, you know, even before I was on the Ofra PR or anything like that or doing the collabs because they are very long wearing, but I felt like they were very comfortable. There was a lot of liquid lipsticks that I just did not love because I felt like they were so drying on my lips. I know everyone was so enthralled with the Anastasia liquid lipsticks and I was like, I cannot. I cannot wear these. They made my lips like so dry and shriveled and just like not good. But when I started trying the Ofra, I was like, oh, finally, these are more comfortable. Like, thank goodness. So really enjoy the ones from Ofra. Um, some other ones that I had put down are actually more affordable options, but one is from NYX and it's their soft matte lip creams. I still, you know, I feel like I could still consider this a liquid lipstick because it's the liquid you know, texture, the liquid formula. Um, but it gives you kind of the soft matte to me is kind of like a blurred out lip look and they have a great shade range of colors. I'm trying to remember some of my favorites because the NYX soft matte lip creams, when I was first getting into YouTube, these were a huge hit. Everyone was talking about them like everywhere. People were doing like full swatch videos with all of their NYX soft matte lip creams. There was a lot of dupe videos going around. I feel like I can especially remember Kat Von D and was it Lolita that was being duped um, by NYX. So I can remember going to like CVS and trying to find these specific shades because I wanted to be cool like everyone else too. But the NYX Off Matte Lip Creams, they're very comfortable, they're affordable, great shade range as well. And then I also really liked the ColourPop Liquid Lips, um, which was interesting to me because I don't like a lot of ColourPop lip products. And I feel like there was a handful of shades that I really preferred. Sometimes I feel like with ColourPop, even within whatever category it is, their formulas can be a little bit different. So from eyeshadow palettes, like there's some of their formulas that I'm like, this is not a good palette. And there's some that I'm like, this is my absolute favorite. Everyone should own this. And I kind of feel the same way with lips. So I went back and forth, but if you have, like if you are still loving liquid lips and you have good recommendations, especially like updated ones, because some of these that I'm recommending are from some that I've tried, you know, from years ago. So please, you know, drop those in the comments. Any other favorites, leave them in the comments because I know a lot of people look at the comment section and find it super helpful, as do I. Uh, but I really liked the red that I Love Sarah E did in collaboration with ColourPop. It was called Ariba. I thought that one was super beautiful. I also really loved Beeper, which was kind of like that darker, almost like 90s kind of grunge liquid lipstick. I mean, I wore the crap out of that liquid lipstick. Okay, I was wearing that lipstick all the time. And it just made me feel some type of way. I remember, I don't know if it was just because it was like a different shade for me or if it was like that was when the li liquid lipstick 
liquid lipstick trend was really like popping off and I was like like I have so many pictures of just like you know like I was like Instagram buddy you know uh it was great. It was a great time to be alive. Those were some of my favorite shades from ColourPop. But again, I wanted to include liquid lips. But if you have any more recent recommendations too, I would love to hear them. Moving over to satin lipsticks, I have two. And I have a third that I'll recommend that I don't own. Because again, I feel like when it comes to like a bullet lipstick, uh, matte is actually my preferred. And then I just really prefer to go right to like a gloss or a balm. Or an oil. I have lip oils as well. So satin lipsticks I just don't wear as much. But again, I had a few recommendations to give. This honestly I was like could also be in the balm category. But I wanted to mention the Merit Signature Lips. The shade that I really love is in Slip. These are really nice. They feel really good on the lips too. This one is more of like this light brown. But again, I feel like it's a little bit more on the balmy side. But could also be considered... The satin lip also very comfortable very easy to apply not the most opaque but it's just like a little something something when i was doing a lot of traveling last year um i kept bringing along the merit lip and even my cruise that i went on in january of this year i pretty much wore this lip the entire time and it was just like added a little bit of color a little bit of shine I thought it was great so comfortable i also really enjoy from ColourPop. these are their glowing lips again i'm not a huge fan of a lot of ColourPop lip categories i don't like their lip oils i started trying them recently i'm not a fan um some of their like the, the satin lips the glossy lips i'm just i'm like uh nah, mm, okay but these glowing lips are super pretty and this shade is in a cockatoo so you have this kind of like slim lip here and look how cute this is again i feel like this could kind of be considered like a balm as well but you are getting more of that shiny satiny lipstick and i really enjoy that mauve shade Again, easy to apply, easy to reapply, comfortable, not sticky, and it just gives this nice shine glow to the lips. These I think are really pretty. I've talked about these for a while. And then I didn't really feel like I had, like, you know, I had some other ones in my collection, but not anything that I was like, I would really consider this like a top three. But one that I really loved, I'll put a picture on the screen, was from Sephora, and it was like their Rouge... Oh my gosh, what was the proper name for these? Sephora Collection Rouge Lacquer Long Lasting Lipstick. It says, high shine, long lasting lipstick, has a balm-like texture, could be a balm again, with intense, super pigmented shades. Okay, what was the shade? Let me see if I can... I feel like maybe these have been reformulated though. So again, if you have something that you love, I think it was No Regrets that I had. Yeah, No Regrets, that sounds right. No regrets that I really enjoyed, and it was kind of probably similar to the Merit, kind of that like nude brown, but it was, you know, pretty shiny, but again, not like the most opaque, more bomb like Really enjoyed those. I talked about those for a long time. So I was just kind of like looking around at some of my old videos and what I was talking about. I was, you know, looking up like what are some of the best, you know, satin lipsticks right now and kind of going through everything. And the Sephora ones really jumped out at me because we had a moment. We had a moment for a while. Kind of makes me want to buy another one. I'm like, I have bought so many lip products recently. I need to, I need to rein myself in. National Lipstick Day did not help, okay? Everything was like 30% off, 50% off. Okay, let's move over to matte lipsticks. Now this was hard. I literally, I have so many written down and then crossed off because I was like, wait, no, I think I would put this one a little bit before. This one I thought was going to be super easy and then I realized how many lipsticks I just love so much again a little bit newer to me but i do really enjoy the rare beauty lipsticks these are their i think just the kind words matte lipsticks i also really enjoy the shade worthy i wear it with the worthy lip liner quite a bit and it's this nice just it's it's pink but it's like to me i feel like it's more nude i honestly lean more on the nude side when it comes to lipsticks than i do pink and i i truly lean more on the brown nude side as well that's just kind of always been my go-to versus a pink and i feel like this worthy shade is just beautiful um easy to apply looks good has a good wear time to it i really like those matte lips and then i had to mention matte cosmetics i mean i have been wearing matte lipsticks for years and years and years so one of my favorite shades is in honey love and it's just a nice brown nude this is another one. I really want to do my like project use up video now. 
I want to put this in here so bad. I have put this in so many project pans throughout the year, but I would always fail at my project pans because I have such a big collection. I'm always trying so much new makeup. So look at this, like it's just that beautiful neutral brown. I mean, it's so stunning. I usually pair it with like a little bit of a darker lip liner as well, and it's just beautiful. Now this is described as a creamy matte lipstick, so I kind of went back and forth. To me, I feel like it's one of those that when I first swatch it or first put it on, it does look more on like that creamy satiny side, but then it like almost like dries down into a matte lip. Um, but it's still, it's so comfortable, has a great wear time to it. I know MAC lipsticks have been loved for so many years. I was very late to the game on the MAC lipsticks, but my honey love, I can't get enough of. And then of course, again, favorite for lipsticks, Charlotte Tilbury. Her matte revolution is my favorite. So she does also have the kissing lipsticks. And I have a few from there that I like. I felt like I could have put maybe that in the satin category but still to me when i think of charlotte tilbury and like my love of her lipsticks it goes to the matte revolution line so that's what i had to put in here and of course we're doing very victoria i mean i have talked about very victoria on my channel for years one of my first lipsticks that i purchased uh from charlotte tilbury that i fell in love with and it was funny because everyone loved pillow talk that's you know what charlotte tilbury is known for she has literally every product under the sun called pillow talk but when I was going to make my purchases, I did Iconic Nude and Very Victoria and never looked back. I just think this shade is so stunning. Look at that. This just makes me happy right here. You know, I just did basic AF eyeshadow palettes. Like I should do like basic AF <laughs> lip products because man, that makes me so happy. But Very Victoria, such a beautiful lip shade. I don't know. I feel like I could maybe, mm, I'm gonna have to sit down and think about my project use up video But I just got very excited for that. All right, let's move over to lip oils This was a little bit hard for me because I have one particular lip oil that I wear the most and it just like Reigns supreme for me, but I do Love me a good lip oil. So wanted to put some together here one that I enjoy is from Kopari. This is their tripeptide lip cloud. This is one that I really kind of consider as more um, like in my skincare. It's in my bathroom. I keep it in my bathroom drawer. A lot of times I put this on in the morning and I just think it gives a nice little like comfort hydration to my lips. But I really like it. It's a little bit of a newer product, but I don't know if you'd be able to see that on camera, but I've used a lot out of here. It also gives you a little bit of shine to the lips too. Um, I'll try to do a swatch here, but um, it's pretty clear. But this one is nice, and to me it has more of that kind of like lip oil feeling. I also do really enjoy these from Clarins. These are their lip comfort oils. And I don't know, I got these scent in PR, and I was like, mm, I'll try them because I like lip oils. And I started trying them and I was like, wait, what? Um, these are really nice. They're, again, I kind of feel like I'm kind of using the same word. These are very hydrating as well. And I like that they're not sticky. They're not like super goopy or anything like that. You know, again, they're going to be pretty on the sheer side. This particular shade that I have is in raspberry, I think. Yeah, raspberry. Just a little something, something to the lips. But these are actually, these are really nice. I've passed on quite a few to my friends because they sent me like a PR package with like six shades. I'm like, I don't need that many. So I was just kind of passing them out one night. And I know all of my girlfriends really love them too. And then I have, you know, my number one is from Sigma Beauty. These are fabulous. These are their Renew Lip Oils. Again, we have the jojoba oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E. My favorite shade is in tint. And these are just elite to me like i always have these on me um I, like i always have at least one in my purse i probably have like three of these opened at this point but like i don't care these feel so good i mean i could use these at night too instead of a lip mask because they have those skincare ingredients and you can just tell when you put it on it feels good it feels hydrating it feels like it's actually helping your lips tint i feel like gives a little bit of that brown which is why i like it uh, but it's beautiful you know i'll pair it with like a nude lip liner a brown lip liner Add this lip oil on top and it's just like it makes the lips look so good so to me like sigma beauty with their lip oils and their lip masks they're just the best like i recommend them over and over i have for such a long time i am an affiliate with sigma i don't think i mentioned that before my code is samantha and they are 
let me think of the dates i believe they are still having their semi-annual sale going on right now so everything is super discounted and you can stack my code they didn't always have it where you could stack influencer codes but you can stack my code for an extra savings check out their lip products okay all right and then lastly we have lip glosses and this was hard because i have a lot of lip glosses that i enjoy but i wanted to put in the ones that i just keep wearing over and over and over again right now and definitely one of those again is going to be my collaboration with Ofer cosmetics i have three glosses that i did with them i just posted a video recently swatching all of the glosses because these um these are sold as a trio it's called the sam squad lip trio they're sold also at Ulta Beauty, and Ulta did a whole week sale for National Lipstick Day, and these sold out on the first day. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. I felt like I just shared about it, and then they were immediately sold out. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, it made me so excited, so thank you so much. Um, I loved the Ofra lip gloss formula. Again, it was a product that I wanted to make with them too because I already knew that I loved their formula because they just, they feel good. Again, not sticky, not goopy. They give this beautiful amount of like shine and glow to them. So this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. This is in Peony. Peony is just my favorite flower. Love it. Oh, it's just, I love the light pink. I think it's so stunning. And then we also have Queen, my little Queen gloss. This is actually named after my dog Aries. So I was trying to make a shade that kind of, you know, like more match like her color, like her beautiful copper color so we have queen and that has like i love the this the sparkle in these because it's like not too much it's not like you have like glitter on your lips but it's like just enough that it makes your lips like juicy and plump looking and then we have millie i've gone through so many millies um i just i love the shade so much and this one was named after my grandmother who's millie um because she loved pearls so i was going for a very pearly shade but i love it because on the lips like it doesn't it doesn't look like super white or anything like that it just gives you like you have diamonds on your lips i don't know how else to describe it but i just love the millie shade so much this we worked on so i did not think we were going to get it because queen and peony are uh, more similar to each other formula wise millie we had to do something different to try to really get this pearl effect on your lips it was a hard formula to get i don't even know how many we went through but i would like i had something so specific in my mind i was like no it needs to be this way because it needs to honor my grandma <laughs> and we did it like it, it i wanted it to look like her favorite revlon nail polish that she always wore that's what i was going for and I feel like we really nailed it with Millie. So obviously I love those glosses. The Ofra gloss formula I think is fantastic. But I do also really love from Natasha Denona. And this is her My Dream gloss. I wear this all the time. You know, obviously I wear it with the My Dream lip liner. And it's like one of my perfect My Lips But Better gloss combo. Look how stunning that is. A lightweight formula. Not sticky. I truly like I wear that lip combo all of the time. I feel like it's a very underrated lip combo. I also I like the Natasha Denona lipsticks and I almost I had them in my my matte category at first and then I ended up crossing them out because there's just a few others that I like more. But the lip liners and the glosses highly, highly recommend. And then I had to give it to Lawless Beauty and the Forget the Filler Lip Plumping Line Smoothing Gloss. This one is just so stunning. I wear this all of the time. It just is, I don't know what the heck this does to your lips, quite honestly. It makes them plump, juicy, truly like you got lip filler. I mean, it's, that's a great name. It's like you got lip filler, but you didn't. You're just wearing your Lawless Gloss. It just does something to the lips. Add a little bit of you know a nude lip liner or something like that a pink lip liner and it's gonna look like people are gonna ask you if you got lip filler i love it i have gone through this is actually a new one um i have gone through one of my lawless glosses and that says a lot because it's really hard for me to go through glosses so the lawless is just one of my favorites i wear it so often and i'm always recommending it so after that that is everything top three i feel like this was a long video I feel like you will probably be able to tell my love of lip products and my love when I really love something, I could talk about it forever. So you could probably tell that from this video. Again, everything will be linked down below. I would love to hear some of your favorite lip products. If you enjoyed this little series, please make sure to give this one a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next one.